Okay, I'm back. What I went and did, I went and got some tools. The um, what we're doing is we're putting we're putting the swing away part of the stowaway carrier, the swing away part right here, onto the frame that fits into the hitch carrier on the van. And there's a couple position holes that are on here. I'll just have to play with those and figure out which ones are good and which what's the best configuration. But it looks like. There's two holes on the on the van that I can use. But anyways, the top bolt right here that you hook on is a one and one eighth. And the bottom nut, which goes underneath, is a one and one sixteenth. So I've got a set of three quarter inch sockets here. And then I went and got a uh, large crescent wrench to hang on to the bottom. So what you gotta do is this came with four washers and one washer goes on the bolt, then a washer goes in between on each, in between the bolt and the swing away, so there's four washers. One on top, one on bottom, and then one in between the swing away. So to get the ones on the bottom, to get the ones in between the swing away arm and the, and the uh, uh, solid mount, you'll need to be able to lift to level to level this you may have to have someone kind of hold it up and tilt it while you get the washers in there so I had to do it by myself and I think I got it so I'm gonna just see if I can ratchet down this this bolt here and uh, get it through there and it's coming through it's tight I can feel the bolt coming through now snug it says ratchet it down and then ratchet this nut on the bottom till it's snug seems like this ought to be a little looser on this but we'll find out maybe threading through the washer. I don't know. It's on there though. Wow. It's... I'm have to get a mallet on this. Doesn't look like it's... Yeah, it's going there. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, I think it's going down. Yeah. I'll try to figure out how to power through this when I edit it so it won't be so long. that's going down anymore. I think I'm going to put that nut on there and see if I can pull it down. Maybe. I don't know. We'll try it. Yeah. I don't recommend you use your ratchet for a hammer like I just did, but it's craftsman so it ought to be able to do it. That's what it was. It's down. Okay, so now I need the one and one sixteenth nut uh, ratchet. Okay, Let's see if we can get this on here. Okay, you'll notice it's a nylon knock nut, <laughs> nylon lock nut. So this will have resistance the minute it gets on there. So expect to have to crank it a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, you can see my top nut's turning now. So now I need my wrench. And guys, I'm gonna have to find a deep socket. This one is, maybe it is. Let's see if this thing's going to swing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There, pin holes are open at 90 degrees. Yeah, swings free. So let me just finish tightening that up and uh, we'll get back to you. Okay guys, I got that tightened down. And if you don't have any power tools or air tools, make sure you got some good hand wrenches and some muscle because I think it's kind of a beast getting that tied down, tightened down. Let's see how she opens. Pull that up. Swing's perfect. Okay. Locks in there. And... All right. Next step is going to be putting the box on top of this. And I think I'm going to have to have a helper, so I'll get back with you. Okay. In this step, I'm going to put the box. I've got the frame, the swing away frame, and the hitch frame mounted. Everything's tight. I'm going to put the box on top of this and I'm going to install the box and I'm going to need my assistant's Kaden to help me lift that over here. We're just going to walk it over here, set it on here. Okay. Okay, there's the box, and I will mount that shortly. I will get that mounted. But there's what it's gonna look like on the back of the van. And uh, I will swing it away here once I get it installed. And uh, it's gonna be a lot of extra storage, I can tell you that. I don't know if it's $850 worth of storage, but it's sure going to be helpful. And I'll do, I'll get the video camera out or the phone out when I get it installed and kind of show you around how to swing it out and how easy it is to take care of. Till then. Okay. As you saw a second ago, we're getting ready to mount this box. And there's four holes, four small holes that correspond to holes in the frame and then there's the big drain hole right there so I've got the hardware kit open and you can see I've got the big four flat washers right there the four bolts the drain plug that goes in that big hole and then three uh, heavy-duty zip ties 
um, which I'm sure will hold the wiring for the wires for the license plate and stuff. Okay, so I've got the four washers in here. And I'm going to put one there. One there. One there. And one there. Now, let me see if I can line these holes up. So good, I can't even get it open. One hand. Okay, I'm gonna get this open, get the bolts up, and I'll be back. Okay, as you can see by the picture, it shows a bolt going through the flat washer right there, goes through the hole. Then it shows a flat washer and a lock nut. Well, it came with the lock nuts, but didn't come with any flat washers for the bottom. So I'll have to, I'm gonna have to go find uh, find four flat washers, which I'm sure I've got some, it's no big deal, but it did not come with the flat washers that the instructions show, and I'm gonna call Stowaway and let them know. But anyways, so what you do is you've got this flat washer, you got the hole lined up, and then that just goes through there. And you do that four times. And that's not obviously lined up with the hole there. The bolt's not going through. But the bolt's going to come through right there. And I've got to go find four flat washers. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, as you can see, I found my own flat washers. I think I've got the holes lined up pretty good. So that goes in there. That goes in that one. I obviously don't have that one lined up. That's in that one. Let's see what the deal on that is. Well, I can't get that. But anyways, I've got I'll get those four bolts in there and I'll get them tightened underneath. Then I'll come back and show you the semi-finished product. Okay, here's kind of a first look of the stowaway on the van, on the vehicle. It's, uh, I don't have the bolts tightened yet to the frame where I don't have the hitch tightener on there yet either. But that's kind of what she's going to look like going down the road. It's pretty, pretty good sized chunk of storage. I don't know if it's $850 worth of storage, but we're going to find out. Okay, we are back and what I'm going to do now is I've got my assistant out here. Hayden, who's going to be holding this ratchet on the bolts down there uh, just to make it easier on these four bolts that I have to ratchet on from underneath so we will get that done let me switch this camera over and we'll move on and get that done that should that will connect the box to the to the um, carrier 